Hey, this is Asaf Levavish from TheKinerf.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you an arrangement I've made especially for you of What Does the Fox Say? It's half finger style, half picking with a lot of nonsense in between. Uh, if you haven't watched the video of me playing it, I'm going to show you uh, how I play it in a second. I just want to say that it's just um, four chords, but um, it's kind of tricky to play. So have patience, I'm going to show you exactly what I do in every section with tabs on the screen and everything. So first, let's watch it and then we'll learn it. So you've got four chords. The verse and the chorus uh, have C sharp minor, B, and F sharp, and it's also here, C sharp minor on 9, B on 7, and F sharp on 6 in a C shaped bar. Okay. Now the fourth chord is A comes around in the outro section, both in the open position and on final. Okay, so you've got C sharp minor, B, F sharp, and later you've got A. Now, the intro goes like this. Okay, 
you put on a full C sharp minor chord and you play the C sharp octave, you play four on the A string and then six on the G string. And then you play G string and B string. And then uh, this. Okay, both with your pinky because you need your first finger for the B bass. So seven on the E string and then four on the E string, both with the pinky. Okay, and then B bass. So it sounds like this. And then you take the pinky off, you put your second finger on the second string on the second fret. Um, and you play the B string and then an open E string. Okay, so it's... And then... Two on the E string with your third finger. And then again, two on the B string, still pressed. And then the F sharp bass. Okay, the F sharp bass, two on the E string, the E bass. And then this. Again, two on the B string, open E string, and then this again with your pinky, 7-4 on the E string, F sharp bass back on, and then uh, this note, the D flat note, um, or C sharp note, uh, yeah, C sharp, if we're in C sharp minor, then it's C sharp, it's not D flat. Um, it is technically D flat. Never mind. And then, well, if you're confused, we're here. Um, two on the B string. And then, two on the B string again, and this. Okay, it's pull off from five to four on the B string, and then four on the G string, then six on the G string, okay, it's four, six on the G string, and you put on a C sharp minor, okay, so you wanna, um, you wanna play the, um, you wanna play the C sharp note with your pinky, so you can put on the rest of the chord and still have it ringing, okay, so, see, it's still ringing, so, again, third finger. Anyway, from the top, 7-4, B, F sharp, 7-4 again, still F sharp, lick. Okay, so, and then you play the C sharp bass and you begin. Now the melody of the verse is very easy. It's just the three chords. Okay, so it's... That's it. It's just this little rhythm. Now you can find your own rhythm to play this. You can also play this completely finger style without strumming. You can play it... Make your own arrangement of this. Um, and arrangements are open to interpretation. You don't have to play what I play. Anyway, okay. So it's C sharp minor to B. Okay. All the while, I just pick the first three strings. Okay. Okay, along with the bass. So, bass, bass, and then, okay, I play uh, strings two and three, okay, on four and four, and then two on the E string, the bar, and then the second time the F sharp note is played, it's on the F sharp chord, okay, so it's... Got it? So it's B, F sharp. And you play all three 
strings, okay? Strings one, two, and three, along with the F sharp bass. Um, so, it sounds like this. And then this. Okay, pinky for a second goes to four on the B string. Okay, you can harmonize with the G string. And then, it's an F sharp chord again. You take the pinky off, bring it back here. So, and then, okay, again with the pinky. It's um, just F sharp again. You pick strings two and three again. Okay, twice, you play the bass, then you play them twice. Then pinky on five and four on the B string. You can harmonize with the G string. Okay. And then this. Okay. It's C sharp minor again. You play strings G and D, okay, on four, both on four. Uh, the third and fourth strings. And then you play the bass again and you begin the line again. Okay, so it sounds like this. Got it? Again, first line. B. F sharp. Um. And then again. Okay, up to here. It's the same, it just has a different ending. The ending this time, after the four on the B string, you play the E string twice more, and then this. Okay, just seven and six on the E string. So it sounds like this. And then this. You go to the high F, uh, to the high C sharp minor, and the first thing you pick are strings two and three. On nine, of course, it's the bar. It's okay. These notes. So, and then you play the bass. Got it. And then this. So you play <clears throat> strings two and three again on the C sharp minor, then the E string, then you go to B on seven and you play first, uh, first, second and third strings and then the bass. So got it to keep the rhythm going. And then this. Now, it's basically the same concept going around instead of from 9 to 7, it goes from 7 to 6. So it's, okay, again, strings 2 and 3, and then the E string. And then you put on the C-shaped F-sharp chord, um, bar on 6, pinky on 9. That way you know you're in the right position, because 9 is the F-sharp bass. So, the bass of the chord. So, yeah. Um, now you play strings one, two, and three, and then the bass. Okay. So this um, this section is basically a, re a repetitive pattern. So. Okay, and then you just play the chord. Then strings two and three twice, and then this little solo. Okay, now instead of this being just a solo, I play the F sharp bass in between just to remind the ear that it's still a chord. Um, and then we have to take the pinky off, so no more bass notes. 
for um, for a moment. Uh, so uh, we were here, and then it's you take the first finger off and you play on the E string. You play seven six and the F sharp bass between them. So it's seven bass six. Got it? And then you take the pinky off, and on the B string you play. 9 and 7, and you can harmonize with the G string on 6 because it's the bar. Okay, and it's inside the chord. You can also harmonize with the D string if this is still on. Okay, but this is a bit too much. So... Okay. And then this again. This time you um, you um, play the F sharp chord up until the chorus. So again, C sharp minor, B, F sharp, and then the chorus. Okay, so let's just go over the verse again. Pinky, pinky again, C sharp minor, okay, so it's, got it, then again, pinky, solo, then C sharp minor, okay, and we play this. The chorus, well, the chorus has a lot of nonsense in it, so I tried to keep the nonsense and arrange it into guitar. All this, so, uh, waka 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 wow, and the ding 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 ding. I tried to um, arrange it into sound. So the best I could come up with is um, is this. First, this. Okay, um, fourteen on the E string. Twice, then 12, okay, 14, 14, 12, and then you, um, then you bend 14, and then 14 on the B string, okay? Now, um, you play C sharp minor, the first thing I do is this, okay? So I play this. Okay, C sharp minor. Okay, um, I put the thumb on the guitar and I just use my two fingers to pull strings one, two, and three behind the chord. Uh, now, if this was a uh, C sharp here, um, it won't sound as good. So, okay, and the C sharp is also close to the to the solo, so four times. Excuse me, three times, and then solo again. Second time around, it's this. Um, I just tap and slide on whatever comes out. C sharp and then again with two fingers just slide uh, anywhere on the first to four strings first second third string uh, doesn't matter where okay the, as long as it sounds chaotic I just hammer on and slide okay and I try to keep this going Okay, three times. Uh, strum, and then hammer on and slide. Then solo again. Then I do this. 
Okay, it's just C sharp uh, five this time. It's just uh, nine on the E bass, eleven on the A bass, and eleven on the on the D bass. Okay, on three bass strings, so it's and then I push it from nine to twelve, so it's C sharp minor, and it's not minor, it's C sharp five to E five. Okay, and I try uh, to make it as raspy as possible. I mean, I don't want it to sound smooth. I want it to sound dirty. So sometimes um, I will even, um, I will even uh, slide it a bit too far. Okay, to make it sound um, like to make it sound like, uh, you know, like a voice, like a human voice instead of a guitar. So, uh, and then, now the fourth time around, I play the full C sharp minor chord, and then I do this, okay? I play, um, I play an E diminished chord, it's from first to fourth string, it's 15, 14, 15, 14. 15, 14, 15, 14. Okay? And then I just... And I bend it. I bend the entire chord. So... Okay? That's how it sounds like. Okay? And it doesn't matter if... Uh, if you miss it, as long as you get the sound out, you can miss a couple of strings, you can miss the fret, you can, you can misplace your fingers. It will sound good as long as you intend to make it sound wrong. Okay, does that make sense? As long as it sounds like this, okay, as long as you bend it and distort it, um, mission accomplished. So, then the solo again. And then the verse one more time with a different ending. So you play the entire verse. And then the solo. Then the high part. And then. And then you end it the same way as the third line. Okay, uh, with seven and six as a solo on the E string after the F sharp. Okay, will you communi communicate by? Okay, uh, and then the uh, nine and uh, seven on the B string again. So it's the same. It's the same solo twice, and then, and then it's the Morse part. Uh, and it's more oh, 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 so you just play that rhythmically. Okay, uh, you you strum, and then you take the chord off. You stop pressing the chord down, but you continue. You continue strumming. The strumming is just sixteenths, so it's okay, and you accentuate it by pressing the chord down. Okay, and then B, then F sharp. Okay, and then you play the solo again. Now, if you play it finger style, then it sounds wrong. So just try to strum strings one and two. Okay, it will take a bit of practice, but it's worth it. So it's... Okay, and then again. then the chorus. Now um, I just change the um, I just change the order of things. First thing I do is this. And then the second thing. Okay? Now third time around, what I do is instead of this, I strum uh, behind the nut. It's just... Okay? And 
then just to give it a bit of diversity um, and I don't remember what I do the what I do last time um, but it doesn't matter because um, it's just the chords okay uh, again so um, anyway now we're down to the outro now we're back into finger style so a okay. now what's important to remember is that there's a melody and you play the chord along with the first note of the melody and then you just fill the chord in whatever way you like you just arpeggiate it you just pick whatever order of strings you want um, it's completely improvised it's completely freestyle as long as you play the melody in time it will sound good it's supposed to be a quiet section you can also just pick the chord you can also just do this <laughs> to just arpeggiate the chord and just just play patterns um, and just fill in the melody where it should be so A okay you just play the chord and then fill it and then the sacred of God it's it's just the E string four times um, and you can harmonize with the B string. And then C sharp minor. Same idea. Chord, and then your arpeggiate. Then the same idea. Okay, just E and B strings four times. Then B. Same idea. Then again, same idea. This time the B is high on seven. And then the same idea. A on five. To a high C sharp minor on nine. Same idea. It returns to rhythm, so you just play this. Okay? I'm not forgetting the bass slick. Okay? I just wanted to show you the rhythm. It's the same, um, it's the same rhythm as always uh, in the chorus. Now you add the fox part. You play this. Okay? That's what you aspire to get into. It's just nine, 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 twelve, nine on the E string. That's it. You add it to the C sharp minor, and then B. You can end on twelve and nine. Okay. Slide to twelve if you want. A. You don't have to add it here, and then B. And again. chord then slide to uh, C sharp minor play the C sharp minor and palm mute uh, the E string try to keep the rest of the chord ringing palm mute just the E string and play okay nine 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 twelve nine okay so You're done. Hope this was clear. Hope you enjoyed this one. Now go play it for your friends, your family, your enemies. But before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons in the channel already waiting for you to learn. 
uh, all completely for free. Go download the tabs from the website, also completely for free. But if you want to give something back, there's a donation button, and I'd be very grateful for any donation whatsoever. It helps keep the, the channel going, and it helps me free up more time to make these arrangements and these lessons. So uh, go get this under your fingers, and um, I hope you enjoyed this. I surely did enjoy this. Um, and uh, it's a great bar practice because uh, now my <laughs> this muscle here hurts. Um, and it's not a good sign because I should be practiced by now on bar chords. Um, so it's a good bar practice as well. Now, um, let me know how it goes. Send me requests if you like, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.